action. Welcome to the science room again. Um, today we are going to be learning about wood. Our first center today is um, seeking our redwood with our plywood. This is what redwood looks like. This is what plywood looks like. Our tools today, what we're going to help sink these objects is our rubber bands and our paper clips. What we're going to do first is you're going to grab the redwood and you can put it in the water to test it out, see if it's going to sink or float. You can take it out, check your plywood, put it in the water, see if it's going to sink or float. Alright, now I'm going to grab a rubber band with the redwood, wrap it around, and then I'm going to get some paper clips. I'm going to put one right on top there, I'm going to put that in the water. Then I'm going to grab my plywood, same thing, grab my rubber band, and a paper clip. Then I'm going to put that in the water to test it out. Alright, I'm going to keep adding my paper clips then. And my questions to you today are, were you able to sink the wood by attaching the paper clips? And how many paper clips did you use to sink your wood? When you are done, we are going to clean up. So you're going to take out the plywood, put it on the table, your paper clips, and the basket, please, because they are wet. And please take out the rubber band, and then the plywood for our friends. <laughs> right. So our vocabulary today is float, pine, and sink. Our next station today, friend, is called sanding wood. And again, our materials today are um, basswood samples. We have some sandpaper, and we have some cups to put the dust in, and our plate. Before I do that, let's just kind of talk a little bit about the parts of a tree. Our parts of our tree. Alright, our tree has leaves. Our tree has a trunk. Our tree has branches. And of course our tree has roots. These are the parts of a tree. What we're going to do next is you're going to take your basswood and your sandpaper and you're just going to start some sanding. Please keep it over our paper plate so we don't get the sawdust all over everything. What happens when you rub the wood with the sandpaper? Are you going to be able to change the shape of the wood? What has fallen onto the plate? All right, when the teacher calls again, we are going to clean up. What you're going to do is you're going to put your dust inside the bowl for a next group. And again, our vocabulary is change, sand, sandpaper, sawdust, what we just made, shape, wood. Our next station, friends, is... Um, making sawdust and what we're going to do today is our materials is here's some sawdust we have some glue and we'll use a bowl a spoon again a plate and then a popsicle stick and what we're going to do today is we're going to change this particle board into a product the particle board begins as a tree again in the forest a log is cut into the lumber, sawdust piles up under the saw, and then the sawdust is mixed with some glue or some reason, or a kind of glue, and then the sheets are, or then excuse me, the sawdust and the reason mixture is put into the machine that squeezes it out like toothpaste, but in the flat sheet, the sheets then are dry underneath this hot lamp, and the sheets or particle board are stacked flat until they are shipped to our lumber yard. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to use your spoon. You're going to grab some sawdust. Put it inside your bowl. You're going to get a little bit of glue. Then you're going to do some mixing. This is what I need, so 
some more sawdust. Here again, we are making plywood. When you think you have mixed it enough, you're going to form a ball. Then you're going to walk over here and find your teacher's name. Here's Mrs. Lowe's. I will put mine right here. And it will dry then over night. This is all we'll have to go wash your hands quick. And you can make sculptures with your sawdust and make it into plywood. We have one more station, boys and girls. Thank you for waiting so patiently. Science gets messy. All right. Here again, we are going to make a plywood sandwich. Again, the plywood begins as a log with all the branches cut off. As the log is turned around and around, a big knife cuts off a long, thin layer of wood like a paper towel coming from a roll. Glue wood is put on the thin sheet of plywood. And then several of the thin glue sheets are put together like a sandwich and pressed to make one sheet of plywood. So what we're going to do now is we are going to grab your plywood, put again, put it on your plate, have a little bit of dot glue. I'm going to use your tool, the um, popsicle stick. Squeeze some more glue on if you don't think you have enough. Make your sandwich. And we'll do one more, so three. So you're going to put a little bit more glue. Spread it just like the machine. And add another piece. Again, when you are done, you're going to go over to your teacher's table. Find your name. Here's Mrs. Lewis again, and I'll sit overnight to dry.